The plague-ridden monks of Clan Pestilence emerge from the Lustrian rainforests centuries ago. Their initial contacts with the Under Empire were less than peaceful, but after a time, an accord was reached and Clan Pestilence became a productive segment of the Under Empire. Riddled with disease and contagion, the Skaven of Clan Pestilence are devout worshippers of the Horned Rat. Though they recognize the Horned Rat's other attributes, they focus on his ability to create, control, and spread plagues. After the clan's workers and captive labor are taken into account, the majority of clan pestilence's military strength lies in its plague monks. The plague monks are religious zealots dedicated to the worship of the horned rat. Their bodies are riddled with plague, and so used are they to pain that they barely feel it any longer. Combined with their religious fervor, this resistance to pain makes the plague monks incredibly capable combatants, especially en masse. The Plague Monks believe that the rest of their Skaven brothers have been misled by the Grey Seers. They feel that though the average rat man has been blinded to what they profess to be the true face of the Horned Rat, namely Pestilence itself. The clan's overriding goal is to bring the rest of the Under Empire into the fold, while avoiding declarations of heresy from the Grey Seers. Appeasing the Grey Seers for the time being is the only way to succeed. In time, once their victories have been secured and the rest of the Skaven clans have been won over, the Grey Seers too will follow their example or die. Like the Grey Seers, the Plague Monks, Priests, and Deacons of Clan Pestilence believe the time of the Great Ascendancy is fast approaching. Pestilence's peculiar twist on this mythology is that the Horned Rat will only allow such a victory if the majority of the Under Empire has converted to their form of worship. How else can one explain the failures wrought time and time again by the bumbling campaigns of the Lords of Decay? Pestilence serves the Lords of Decay by destroying their enemies with fresh brood plagues the likes of which the old world has never seen. The Council is all too happy to accept Pestilence as aid in battle, as disease is a powerful weapon in anyone's arsenal. Not only are the Plague Lords capable of creating new ailments, they are also quite able to effortlessly cure a number of diseases. While the general consensus of Clan Pestilence's members is that curing any sickness or disease is akin to blasphemy, they know that now is not the best time to make such revelations known to their masters on the Council. The Lords of Decay can easily recognize the value of Pestilence's contributions to their war efforts, and they continue to enlist their aid as the end times approach ever closer. 
The plagues of Clan Pestilence kill insidiously, regardless of an enemy's arms or armor. They are quiet weapons that do not risk the lives of the near immune plague monks that spread them. The enemy even spreads the diseases for the Skaven, and provides breeding grounds for the plagues in the form of the poor sanitation and hygiene in the majority of the old world cities. As an added bonus, diseases do not destroy structures, equipment, or other spoils of war. Once the plagues have been spread and allowed to do their work, the madness and resilience of the clan's plague monks make the fighting forces of Pestilence powerful foes on any battlefield. Formations of frothing plague monks are led into battle by a line of sensor bearers. Skaven chosen to wield sacred plague senses against their foes. The Skaven of Clan Pestilence believe that their enemies will either fall to the plague or will fall to despair when their kin succumb. Even if they survive the physical and mental anguish that plague brings, they will be so weakened in body and spirit that they will easily fall before the vermin hordes. One of Pestilence's methods of spreading disease involves specially bred rats. These plague rats are infected with any one of a number of diseases, and are then released into the sewers and alleyways of an old world city. Rats are a common sight in any city, and the plague rats of Clan Pestilence seem no different from alley rats to the casual observer. They creep on quiet feet into the homes and larders of the old world, leaving behind diseased droppings and half-eaten foodstuffs. Another tactic Pestilence uses to spread diseases involves the use of prisoners. These unfortunate wretches are infected with a plague that is slow to manifest. Once infected, the Skaven release them. When they make their way back to their people, they become the unwitting killers of thousands of their own kind. By the time the symptoms are evident, it is far too Late. <laughs>